All right, so here we go. I have some instruments out. Now I wanna do an experiment. I have this $50 violin that I got. It's a Glary violin. It's uh, crap <laughs> and it doesn't even hold a tune. So every time I tune it, it just slips right out of the uh, tune um, and it takes forever to actually tune it. So I'm a little pissed off at it, but um, right now it's just more of a decoration than anything. So what I'm going to do is, well, I'm gonna try to, is this is like a matte finish. Let me flip it over and show you what I mean. Okay, so it's like a matte finish. It has like really no shine. It's very dull looking. So what I wanna try is, I wanna see if I can shine it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try a product um, over here, it's called Feed and Wax, and it's by Howard. And I've um, actually used this to actually uh, clean and uh, actually polish and condition my antique wood in my collection. I have like a, a big collection of antique wood tea boxes and uh, all sorts of jewelry boxes. So I'm gonna give this a try. It has beeswax, it's a conditioner. It penetrates um, and polishes and finishes natural woods. Now, combustible. I got to worry about that. That's the only thing. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it on, and I'm going to leave it on for about, I think it says, let's see, how long do you leave it on for? 20 minutes. And then you just polish it out with a clean, soft cloth. So look at it before, all right? And let me flip it. And so get a gander at this, and let's see if we can get this to shine. Right, so I placed it on a towel so not to scratch it. Okay, so I applied it up into where you see the shine. And uh, here's the part that I did not apply it to. And here we go. All right, so I'm going to uh, paint the rest of it right now. And uh, wow, actually, I hope it stays at that shine. Look at that. That's actually really, really nice. And uh, we'll see what happens after 20 minutes when I rub it off. I had to apply it to the other side and the, um, actually uh, the top part the back part and the sides. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so I applied it to the back. Now I'm gonna apply it to the top and let's see if this thing will gleam and shine. All right, so let's see what happens. Wow, look at that already. Oh gosh, I hope it stays that way. I really, really do. I'm putting some more of this gloppy stuff on and let's see what happens. Now I could be ruining it, but for 50 bucks, I could care less. Um, this violin has been giving me a hell of a time. Um, it actually, I have not been able to practice with it or do anything. I can't get any sounds out of it that sound uh, actually, you know, nice enough to even uh play any um any notes um it does not hold a tune at all now i have believe it or not um you're gonna think i'm crazy but when they were on sale because now they're selling them for like 70 80 90 dollars after uh, the holidays um what i did was i bought a couple of them so i have believe it or not four of these same exact violins stupid me why did i <laughs> buy four of them but again uh, they were only $50 or less, so I figured, why not, right? Um, I could have, like, other people play with me. Maybe my kids might want to learn, and uh, that's why I bought them at that price. Now they're up again in the $70, $80, $90, um, even $100 price range. So if I screw this one up, I could really give a rat's ass, if you know what I mean. So now I'm going to have to leave this on for 20 minutes and uh, let it penetrate the wood. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub it off and buff it up. Now I can do the fretboard too, but I don't feel like taking the strings off. Um, it's a pain in the butt just to get the strings on since I'm a newbie at this. But uh, let's check out how shiny it is right now before I uh, buff it off. And you can see it's uh, nice and shiny. And uh, yeah, it's uh, got a nice gloss to it. Um, again, this is just a conditioner. This is uh, actually, it's it's not a paint or anything. And you can see the shine on the back. All right, so I'm going to time it for 20 minutes, and we're going to see what happens. Now, if this ends up working, actually, let me lean it on one of my steel tank drums. Um, if this ends up working, this would be great 
Um, if any of you have uh, an old, like, dried out violin, um, and we'll see if it actually leaves a nice shine on it after I buff it off. Okay, so it's drying. Um, you can see actually the uh, conditioner is being absorbed into the wood. I don't know if you can see that in certain spots. It's actually uh, really thirsty. And uh, this is jujube wood, this little uh, neck rest. Um, the tail is jujube wood. Um, the rest of it is, uh, the top is spruce and the sides are maple. And uh, already it's starting to like really, really, really um, settle down into the wood. I did the sides as well. And I'm about to wipe it off in probably about another three minutes. And let's see what happens. All right, so I uh, just polished it and uh, I, I really, really, really uh, did it in like hard circular motions. I'm going to take it into an area where there's better lighting and let's see if it's really glossy. Here it is. Look at it. Oh my God. Look how shiny it is. Look at that. It looks like a whole new violin. And you saw it before. Now I'm going to actually, I'll put a side by side comparison picture at the end. But look at that shine. That is just nothing short of a miracle. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Now I didn't do the pegs. The pegs are uh, dull. But I did, uh, you know, I did this little scroll piece here. And uh, here we go. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This was ugly. Like a ugly $50 violin. And now look at this incredible shine. So let me flip it over to the back. And here we go. All right. And look at that. This Howard stuff is an absolute and utter miracle. Do you see the shine? Wow. This is just incredible. Now I can see all the accents on the violin going around it. Um, I can see it like, um, the color, the tone, um, let me actually hold it up a moment and, uh, I'll turn it, um, towards the light and you can see, look at that. See how that shines? Oh my goodness. All right. So the Howard, uh, feed and wax is an absolute miracle for a $50 violin. It was all dried out and matte looking. So now I got like almost like a whole new violin. And if I can only figure out how to get this thing to hold the tune, then I'll be really happy. But look under the light. Look how it shines. Look at that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is just nothing short, again, of a miracle. I am just completely blown away by this. All right, guys. So long. See you all soon. And uh, yeah, I'm telling you, get this stuff. Howard Feed and Wax. Leave it on for 20 minutes and just buff it off. So long. And wait for that photo. It's coming right now of the before and the after.